On this video, I will teach you how to correct D-Log video from most drones using lookup tables. I have some D-Log video taken with a Mavic Pro drone that I will be using for this tutorial. Select the clip you wish to correct and move it down to the timeline so we can begin work on it. You can see in the preview window that the video is very flat and dull looking as most D-Log videos are. With the video clip selected, we will go into the editor to begin editing it. The default view will probably show the properties of the clip. We need to select color to change the colors. We will be using the basic selection to change the colors and the lookup table. At the very bottom of this menu, there's a lookup table profile where you can load your lookup tables. If you click the box that says None, you can browse to find lookup tables. I have some Icarus lookup tables that I purchased for my Mavic Pro. If you have the 64 point lookup table, choose that one as it will give you better resolution. Pick the lookup table you wish to use for the correction for this video. It will take some time to load and apply the corrections to the video. Now you can see in the preview window that the color corrections have been made with that lookup table. Here is the before and after views. Now we will do a little fine tuning on the corrections that have been made. You can show vector scopes and waveform by clicking the box that says show video scope. We will start out using the waveform. The top of the waveform represents white values and the bottom of the waveform represents black values. You want to drop the top peak values down so they are just under 100%. To do this, adjust the white slider so the peak values are just under 100%. You may need to go up or down. Adjust the bottom of the waveform down toward zero by using the black slider. You may need to readjust both of these so they are at optimum value. These two adjustments give you the best overall dynamic range for the video. You can see the clouds are not washed out and overly white, and the shadows on the ground are not overly dark. Next, you can change anything for your personal preference. I like to add a little vibrance, a little more saturation, and a little more clarity on my videos. Now you can really begin to see the difference between the before and the after. There are some other things you can monitor. You can look at a uh, vector scope. You can look at an RGB parade and a histogram view by clicking on the appropriate ones. These are all displays that are available in DaVinci Resolve for helping with their video correction. Once you have your clip color corrected, you can now begin to edit it any way you like, just like any other normal clip. If you now try to play the clip, it will render it just like any other clip where you've made changes. After your clip has rendered, you can play it and see what it's going to look like. I hope you got some use out of this tutorial, and good luck with your editing. Thanks for watching.